it's officially my time to review the Nikon 85mm Z 1.8S Nikon mirrorless lens. The lens I have right in my hand. So why don't you guys join me and let's have some fun for a little bit. Rock and roll. What's good, guys? This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. Welcome to my official review of the Nikon 85mm Z 1.8S lens. I've been meaning to buy this lens for my portrait work for some time now. I finally got one. I have some cool surprises for this review today for you guys. I took this lens to a behind the scenes music video shoot of an amazing band, Zolto. You see that Z? Z for Z lenses, Z for Zolto. I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes with me. I took some images with this lens right here. I also did video clips behind the scenes and I had a blast, guys. I had a good time. Thank you, Zolto. Ramon, Mish, Eli, Lonnie, and the crew, thanks for having me. It was an amazing studio in downtown Los Angeles. You know, I got set up, a cool lighting set up. They had the smoke going, the instruments all set up. It was a good time. And I said, why not? Let me shoot my review at that gig. So that's what I did. Zolto, music video shoot, Nikon 85mm Z review sample images video clips in this video in this review today stick around at the end of the video i'm going to give you my conclusions if you should buy this lens or not what i think about it the colors the sharpness the autofocus i'm going to basically cover it from top to bottom if you're wondering how it does with portraits Obviously, my main shooter with this lens will be for portrait work. So I did shoot a wedding part of it with this lens in mind that I'm going to make a review and I'm going to share those images. So I'll be sharing those images, some portrait wedding work that I shot with this lens and the Nikon Z6. I'll be giving you that in this review as well. So anyway, guys, let's get started with the review. Let's get started with all the fun stuff. By the way, guys, I want to thank you for joining me in this review. If this is your first time on my channel, Vahography, I want to invite you guys to go ahead and subscribe to this photography channel. I talk about all things photography. Mainly, I want to help beginner photographers out in their photography journey. If you're nervous, if you're scared, you don't know if you're up to it, you're just having a hard time taking nice pictures with your camera, this channel is a place for you. Not only is this channel for beginners, but advanced professionals as well. I'll give you an example. This video today, we're doing an 85Z full-on official review, my review, right? If you're in the market for this lens and you're a seasoned professional, this is the perfect resource for you, this video right here. So I'm, like I said, I'm gonna take this lens out to a real world gig. I'm gonna shoot it, we're gonna do videos. So yeah, so if you're an advanced professional and this is your first time here and you stumbled upon this video because you wanted to buy this lens and you just searched 85Z, you know, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I welcome all guys. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload new reviews, new content, new tutorials, you name it. Thanks a lot. So let's get started guys, a little bit about this lens. Brand new, this lens cost right around $800 US. Right now, currently speaking, it is on sale. So bronze, right around $700. The 85Z was released September of 2019, one year after the launch of Nikon Z mirrorless cameras. It has a 67 millimeter filter thread. It's got one switch right here, auto and manual, right here on the side of the lens, and that's all you get. You get the nice little Nikon Z badging right here, 85 millimeter 1.8S lens, and you got the Nikon S badge right inside here. Uh, it's not that heavy of a lens, 
it's not a light lens either. The construction of it is very nice. You got a nice focus ring right in front here. And that's pretty much it as, as far as the cosmetics go. So the three factors that you're probably looking into are sharpness, background blur, colors. Okay, a fourth one, performance. How's the autofocus? 85 millimeter lenses, uh, F-mount lenses, if you're familiar with the 85 millimeter 1.4 G lens, the autofocus was good, but it wasn't snappy and fast. If you're familiar with the 7200 2.8 lenses, those autofocus, the AFS lenses, those would autofocus super fast and super silent. But the 85 1.4 G lens, uh, you know, it was a little slower to autofocus. Yes, it was silent, but so is the Canon L 1.2 Mark II lenses. The speeds were a little slower than the uh, traditional 7200. How will this focus speed compare? I'm also going to do video clips side by side. I'm going to you know mount this camera. I'm going to mount this lens right on the, that camera right there. And I'm also going to bust out the 85G. Same camera, same settings. And we're going to shoot them both side by side. And we're going to see what kind of results we get. Compare the colors, the background blur, sharpness. Let's go ahead and take a look at some detailed specs of this lens, the 85Z 1.8S lens, shall we? Let's rock it and roll it. The Nikon 85mm focal length has been a staple for me for portrait work for many years. It's one of my favorite focal lengths to shoot if I'm doing portraits. Sure, I like the 7200 as well. However, if I had one lens and one lens only for portraits, I would definitely have to choose the 85mm. Number one. It's faster than a 7200 and it delivers that creamy bokehlicious background that I love when I shoot brides, portraits, headshots. Sure, I don't have a zoom like a 7200, but I don't mind going forward or backing up. That doesn't bother me. Plus, it's good exercise, right guys? <laughs> so, yeah, the 85 millimeter is a must for me. Now, if you don't have this lens and you don't have a 7200 as well, First get the 7200. For portraits, if you're just starting out in photography, I suggest you get a 7200 first. Now for all you crop sensor shooters out there, get a 50mm lens, it'll be almost equivalent to getting an 85, just a little shorter. Here's the difference between the 85 G 1.4 and the Z lens. Brand new, this lens cost $800. You can get one on the used market for around $600 to $700, of course, depending on condition. So far, so good with this lens. I'm trying it out and it's looking good so far. All right, hopefully that segment of this review helped you guys out somewhat with the specs for all you guys that are into the specs. However, let's see how this lens really does out in the real world, shall we? And by the way, guys, the music and the backdrop when I was showing you guys the specs, of this lens was none other than Zolto. <laughs> Zolto rocks. Let me take you guys out behind the scenes making of their music video bruises. I had a blast and took this lens, like I said, with me. Let's go out, let's go to downtown LA right now and let's see what we got. Sample images, video clips, Zolto, behind the scenes, downtown LA, music video, and a lot of rock and roll. What's good, guys? Reviewing this guy right here. You see this lens right here? That's right, guys. I'm behind the scenes of Zolto's new music video they're shooting today, downtown Los Angeles, amazing studios. And we'll check it out, guys. Sample images coming, video clips, you name it. We're gonna have a lot of fun in this initial review. You guys ready? This lens right here. Rock and roll. Rock and roll.
coaching, baby. Uh, okay. How you doing, man? Good, how you doing? For the recording of bruises. That's a killer kid, man. What up? What up? Damn. Rock and roll. You ready? What's up, guys? I'm ready. I'm ready. Thank you, Vlogging. For coming down and hanging out with us and making it fun and exciting. Oh, yeah. You rock, bro. What up, hey, Mitch? I'm good, man. How are you doing? Hell yeah. You ready, bro? How are you feeling? Awesome. <laughs> ready to kill this. <laughs> Play that bass, man. Happening. Eli, Eli, you got a, what is that, an R? Yeah, EOS R. That's oh, exactly nice. Right. Absolutely nice. love this camera, and it's gorgeous. It takes amazing pictures. Like That's badass, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm still a beginner. I'm still learning how to uh, how to work it, how to do all the cool stuff with it. But uh, I've done a lot of really cool stuff with it so far. And uh, just the pictures I've taken today are absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, man, that's badass. I saw the R, I'm like, wait a minute, he's got an R, Canon R. So, you know, Nikon Z. Canon R, right? That's right, that's right. It's Canon all R. for the love of photography. Hell yeah. Rock and roll. There's Lonnie getting ready. Killer light right here. Killer lighting. What you got there, bro? This is the red Komodo. Oh, nice. It's the Ronin S2. Just a smaller, uh, just a smaller body overall. What kind of lens are you using today? Maya, Mamma Mia. I always say Minolta. I said Minolta last time. It's the Mamma Mia. Huh? They're like vintage like, uh, vintage photo lenses. Shooting in 4K? 6K. 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 Yeah. What was your name, man? Steven. Steven, the Steven. director of photography right here? Yeah, <laughs> doing everything on this. You ready to rock and roll? We're ready. We're ready. Let's do it. Hey, guys, we're ready whenever you are. Waiting on you guys. <laughs> Okay, everyone, let's get on with the images I shot this day. Now, first of all, take a look at this image. The next image, cropped. Look at that sharpness. All images I shot wide open, 1.8. I didn't put the lens info on the screen. I'm using the lens I'm reviewing, the 85mm 1.8Z. Here's another heavily cropped image so you can see the detail. Again, I shot all these images wide open. Unless I specify on the screen, these are all at 1.8. Very minimal editing. Now pay attention to this shot of Eli. Look at the detail on the singer's eyes. I love the contrast of this lens. I love the colors. Now, the images coming up, 1.8, then shot at f2.8, then f4, f8, and f16, so you guys can see the difference. Okay, as promised, it's time to do some video clips around backstage of the music video shoot. Again, wide open shot at 1.8. Let me tell you something about shooting video with the Z85 lens. It is a joy to use for video. And just look at the results. These clips are unedited, not processed, they're 4K files recorded at 30 frames per second. These are all handheld with IBIS on on the Nikon Z6. 
such a joy to shoot roam around shoot some b-roll it's just perfect it's a great focal length now i did have some issues with ibis while panning now i'll address that a little bit later in this video but for right now let's enjoy this footage shall we What kind of Nikon is that? A D750. Oh, nice. <laughs> You're rocking the Nikon, huh? Rocking the Nikon, yes sir. I love photography. Nice camera. Thank you. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Here's a couple of shots of the group with the 85 lens. Now the images coming up, I had the 14 to 30 on me and I took some band photographs with that lens. Check it out. So overall, this was a joy to shoot both photography and videography. Since I love music and rock music so much, I felt so energized while I was there. I mean, I'm into it, you know, I'm into the music, you know, and I was just su having such a great time doing what I love. I wasn't playing the drums, I was taking pictures. And it was just a lot of energy in the room, awesome. All right guys, I had a blast today behind the scenes, amazing rock group guys, amazing band, 
But I thought I'd get the party started with the 85Z on this behind the scenes shoot. So rock and roll guys. What do you guys think so far? See, I told you guys, rock and roll. Zolto, does Zolto rock or does Zolto rock? By the way guys, check out Zolto music. Go ahead and if you're on YouTube, go ahead and just type Zolto and check out their music guys. They rock, they're an amazing band. Really nice guys, you know, had a blast meeting all the members of Zolto. Being a drummer myself, Lonnie is a monster. He is a badass drummer, man. I respect him so much, and he's a pretty funny guy, too. <laughs> Cracking jokes, and he's loud, and, you know, just my type of dude, and, you know, we had a great time. And Eli, nicest guy you'll ever meet. Very creative and talented. Thank you, Ramon, keyboard player. Thank you for having me. And hopefully you enjoyed these images that I took of your band behind the scenes. Let's go ahead and do some video clips right now. I'm gonna mount this lens on to the Nikon Z6 right now, and we'll just see what we get. Right now, we're recording this on a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. I believe I'm at F2 right now. You know what, I'm also gonna bring out the 85G with the FTZ adapter and see what we get in comparison. We'll, we'll shoot at 1.8, both lenses. Uh, we'll also shoot at 1.4 with the G and compare it, see how much more background blur we get with the G lens 1.4. Now, speaking of 1.4 or 1.8, Nikon is probably gonna introduce the 1.4 version of an 85 millimeter or maybe a 1.2 version, <laughs> right? They should make a 1.2. They have the 50 millimeter 1.2 right now. I think they're in the works of an 85 1.2. I can't wait for that beast to come out and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be up there in price when it does come out. So for 800 bucks, you might want to consider this guy right here. All right, guys, so let's, let me mount that and let's rock it. Let's go. All right, so I just mounted the 85Z onto the Z6 right now. I know the shot is a little tight. I didn't want to move the camera at all. I just I wanted to mount the lens so you see the difference between a 50 millimeter uh, field of view and an 85 millimeter shot. So when you're doing video, so I'm at 1.8, wide open on this lens, do some bokeh tests so uh, let's do this how's that how's that working out is it doing a good job focusing one thing I noticed with this lens is I don't know if they can you know uh, I don't know if they can update this with firmware or not maybe I need to update my firmware however with this lens and the stabilization the IBIS when you're doing static shots, it's great. It works It works phenomenal when you're doing static, static videography. But when you're panning, it gives it a little bit of a sticking effect. Like you would pan the shot, right? And it would be like this. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys experience the same thing when you're panning and with the stabilization on, on the camera. Kind of didn't like that, but just don't pan. <laughs> Don't pan with the stabilization on in your hand, that is, you know, so, but when, if you're static, if you're moving, if you're static and you're shooting, you know, yeah, it helps with the vibration reduction and, and it's great. So let me mount the 85G right now and let's see the differences that we get. Uh, so right now, 85, 1.8 S lens. Let's do a shot at 1.8 one, one on, with this guy right here. I need to mount the FTZ adapter, so. Okay, 85 1.4 G lens right now with the FTZ adapter, recording it at 1.8. So we're gonna do a split screen and we're gonna see the differences. 1.8, both lenses. One is the G with the FTZ, one is the 85Z natively. Now, I didn't move the tripod, I didn't wanna move the tripod, but I had to take the camera out to mount the lens. The, onto the camera because of the FTZ adapter. So I guess the distance from where the lens is, the front element is just a tad, a couple of inches, a couple of inches closer to me, but 1.8 both lenses. Split screen, let's see what we get. 1.8, this is 1.8 both lenses. Another bokeh, delicious test. 
All right. How's it out of focus doing with the FTZ adapter at 85 1.4 G lens at 1.8? Obviously, this lens that I have, have on the camera is one amazing piece of glass. <laughs> it's my go-to for portraits for years. I do have a review on this lens. Check it out. My official review of the 85 1.4 G if you're interested in an F-mount lens. Amazing piece of glass. But out of curiosity, let's do this. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, go ahead and open it up all the way at 1.4 and let's see the differences. How much more background blur and light we get. Shall we? All right. I just opened the lens up wide open at 1.4. So let's compare them again. Split screen it. So 85Z at 1.8. And on this side is the 85 1.4, all the way wide open. So I had to lower the light just a tad, so we're not, you know, overexposed or burned out, we're not. But this is how much more bokeh or background blur you get wide open at 1.4. Can you imagine a 1.2? <laughs> By the way, guys, if you've ever wondered what a Nikon Z6 recording with a Nikon D850 looks like you know when you're doing two camera edits well that's what I'm using here my main camera is Nikon Z6 with the 50 millimeter and my side camera using the 1424 f 2.8 G lens natively I'm using the D850 both recording at 4k 30 frames a second identical white balance um, you know, obviously not the ISO. I think I have the D850 at ISO 500, and I have the Z6 at ISO 100, because I'm shooting 1.8 with this, and I'm shooting f 4.5, I think, with the D850 with the 1424 G lens. One downside to the D850 doing video, obviously, is uh the autofocus when you're doing video you know pretty much not well you know what <laughs> it's pretty much non-existent you know you have to manually focus to get good results uh, but that's the only downside and it also doesn't have peaking when you're doing 4k no peaking at 4k but it does use the full sensor at 4k so that's good Anyway, let's not get sidetracked on this review. I like to go off on my little tangent sometimes with gear, but uh, I just thought I'd add that. And if you're wondering, you know, side camera, this is what it is. But we'll save that for a whole new video review. So, yeah. That D850 looks massive, though, with that 1424 on there. Oh, it looks beautiful. And I love that D850. Rock and roll. All right, guys, for the 85Z sample images, I'm taking this thing out for a photo shoot, a wedding photo shoot at an amazing park called the LA Arboretum in Arcadia, and shoot some sample images with the 85Z. We have a beautiful bride and groom here on the right of me. Hey. <laughs> you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. All right, amazing couple here, wedding photography, a little different from the rock stuff, right? But let's get it going. How you doing? Good. Okay, so all you wedding photographers out there wondering about the 85Z. Well, chances are this type of photographs, this type of setting, this lens will be used more often than not. So why not take it to a real world wedding? This image, I cropped it so you could see the detail, the sharpness. And pay attention to this image. I'm going to crop it once again. These are all shot at f1.8, guys. So what do you guys think? My conclusion, I love this lens. For what it is, for the money, for the size, for the weight, it's super sharp, wide open. Did you guys notice the sharpness, wide open? It's incredible. I mean, I have to give it a 10. And here's the reason why. I really like the colors, I really like the sharpness, and the performance. Size and weight factor, it's not that big, and it's not too intrusive. And it just gets the job done, guys, at, at seven or eight hundred dollars. And uh, it does come with both caps, the hood. Here's what it looks like with the hood mounted. 
It's not the smallest lens in the bunch, you know, but it's not too big and intrusive. And it's it's a hell of a lens, guys. So if you're in the market for a portrait lens and, you know, you already have a 2470 and you want something a little tighter and you want for portraits and fast glass for your Z cameras, this is probably the lens to buy. There's no other 85 out there that Nikon makes on mirrorless system. So this is the only lens to buy. So who is this lens for? Wedding photographers, street photographers, you know, portrait photographers. If you have a studio, even some real estate, uh, candid shots at events, pretty much an all-around lens. For the price, it's a steal. If you're on the fence of getting one and you have a Z6 II or a Z7 II, don't be because it's well worth it. Just read the reviews online. I mean... If photography, I mean, I'm telling you right now as a professional photographer, this lens rocks. This lens is amazing. So, you know, the proof is in the pudding with my sample images, my video clips. Oh, yeah. One more thing. As far as video shooters, yeah, for sure. You know, if you're doing wedding for the videography and you're using Z mirrorless cameras or if you're doing B-roll interviews, you know, you name it. <laughs> yeah, video work. You saw the sample video clips. What do you guys think? I would totally get this lens if I was a videographer, you know, doing some street videos, interviews, you know, with amazing bokeh like this and sharpness at 1.8. Yeah, definitely. For all you video shooters, go for it. You know, the proof is in the pudding like I showed you in this video. All right, everyone. It's time for me to get out of here. Thank you for watching once again. I want to thank... Zolto, the members of Zolto, Ramon, Eli, Mish, Lonnie, and the whole crew filming that music video. It was a blast. Thank you. I also want to thank our lovely bride and groom who let me take some pictures and incorporating them in this lens review as well. And also, I want to thank Nikon for sending me this lens. Oh, oops, I forgot. <laughs> Nikon didn't send me this lens, you know, hopefully Nikon watches my videos or whoever's in charge of their marketing, because what I've noticed is, you know, a lot of photographers, they watch these reviews, a lot of Nikon shooters, Nikon lovers, even Nikon haters, <laughs> they watch these videos. So Nikon, if you're watching this video again, go ahead and send me some gear, I'll review it, I'll do a kick ass video for you guys send me the 1.2s you know send me that z9 to review you know i'll knock it out of the park guarantee and i want to thank all you guys out there all you viewers watching this video thank you for making this channel run thank you for commenting and for sharing the experience of photography with me in this channel so thank you very much everyone Again, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Like and subscribe to this video. But the more likes we get on any particular video, the more people see this video, the more people subscribe, and the channel grows, and I could bring you bigger and better content in the future. Hit that bell icon, very important. Sometimes you, you don't, you're subscribed, but you don't get notified when I upload new reviews. So go ahead and hit that bell icon as well again guys i want to thank all of you for watching thank you for spending the 30 minutes here with me reviewing the nikon 85 millimeter z 1.8 s lens hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully this made you you know whether you're in the market for one or not hopefully you got a little bit of a good better idea about this lens so you know, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this review. Let me know what you think of this lens, the sample images. And if you own one, let me know your experiences with this guy right here. This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. And we'll see you on the next video. And remember, the 85mm Z Zolto lens rocks. Rock and roll.
Okay, so now... <clears throat> I know this is an 85 millimeter review, but this 14 and 30 kicks ass. 11 seconds ahead, you ready? Eli. Here we go. What's going on? Don't come closer. All right, guys. What? Color. And we're cutting. Are you guys talking photography? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> by the way, you have to subscribe to Bahamut. I did. I, I did. Did you I subscribe to Yeah, I think so. Okay. Everybody, subscribe to Vahography. Risotto just officially all signed. Rock and roll. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> really? Good job. You guys subscribe to Vahography, dude. He's yeah. the man, the legend. Rock he'll be here for us and he'll be here for you tomorrow. Nice camera. Thank you. That's Signing it. off. Rock and roll. Rock and 